As urbanization accelerates and infrastructure ages, researchers are looking to create cities that can heal themselves, just like living organisms. Today, about 55% of the world's population live in urban areas. By 2050, that will rise to around 68%. The researchers are developing smart materials that can sense when they are damaged and building resilience and repair into the structures themselves. A microbiologist at Delft University, Henrik Jonkers, has discovered bacteria with an extraordinary property. They can survive being mixed into the concrete used to construct bridges, tunnels and buildings. These bacteria can lie dormant for up to 200 years, but they're activated by water, so if cracks appear in the concrete and let in moisture, they excrete calcites, better known as limestone, which fixes the damage. It's not just buildings. One British city, Leeds, is taking part in an experiment to see if it can hand over much of its maintenance work to an army of robots by 2035. The UK's annual repair bill for buildings and other infrastructure is $50 billion. Leeds is testing various technologies that could be emulated elsewhere. Working around the clock, small robotic worms using sensors and navigation systems could identify and fix leaks in buried water pipes without the need to dig up roads. Drones hovering like birds could secure cables dislodged by storms or fix damaged lampposts. Small $40 robots with control systems based on the brains of worms have recently been tested outside the lab. These can spot small cracks on the road before they develop into potholes, and drones carrying a 3D printer can then deliver the precise amount of asphalt and make the repair. A self-healing metropolis, where problems are fixed before they become dangerous and expensive, is still some way off. Leeds is only aiming to eliminate roadworks by 2050. But self-repairing materials are already for sale commercially and the global market value is expected to grow about 30-fold to over $4 billion by 2025.